What's up guys, it's Hazard, back with another video, and I'm bringing you another Destiny video. This is going to be showing you my guy at level 31. I haven't done this in a long, long time. I'm pretty sure last time I did this, I was level 27, so a lot has changed. First thing I want to say is, Happy New Year's. It is January 1st, 2015, as this video is uploaded. Uh, I want to say Happy New Year's to everyone. I hope, uh, it's got a game alert. Thanks, Howie. Um, don't know what a game alert is. Um, I want to say Happy New Year's to everyone. I hope you had a great 2014, and I hope 2015 is even better. And, you know, just everything better. That's pretty much what I want to emphasize. So today we're going to be looking at my Hunter uh, on Destiny, level 31. Let's get straight into it. So, a lot has changed. A lot, a lot, a lot. Uh, last time I was level 27, I don't remember anything from when I was level 27. Still rocking Gunslinger, favorite subclass in the game. It's a beast and everything, and I love it, and I go Super Saiyan mode every time I go Golden Gun, and I love it. The Monte Carlo, which I believe is a PlayStation exclusive until February, or later this month. I just got this from the Nightfall, actually, today, and... I gotta say, so far, I love it. Uh, I haven't upgraded it much. I'm trying to work on it. I've, this is one gun I've wanted for a long, long time. And I'm definitely going to be fully upgrading this and seeing where I go with it. Because it's a cool gun. Uh, it's got a bayonet on the end of it, which is sick. But you can't use it. That's the one bad thing about it. But, I mean, whatever. To each his own. So, I'm going to upgrade this gun fully. And when I'm fully upgraded it, I will let you guys know my full opinion on it and everything. So yeah. Uh, Praetis Revenge. A void damage sniper rifle you get from doing the Vault of Glass. Um, I got this a while ago, and I've wanted it for a long, long time. It's probably my second favorite sniper in the game. First, obviously, being my Icebreaker, which is still probably my favorite gun in general. Um, this is a good substitute, though. Uh, whenever I want to use some other exotic besides the Icebreaker, I always go to my Praetis Revenge. It's a great gun. I love it. Um, and, I mean, if you can get your hands on it, by all means use it. Don't uh, dismantle it immediately unless you already have one. Trust me, it's worth it. Hezen's Vengeance. I actually got this um, probably when I was like level 27, um, but I put it over on my Titan... But then I recently realized, because I thought it wasn't going to be good and anything, but then I realized that it has this amazing per perk, amazing perk called Merv Mini. Basically, when you fire this rocket, it splits into several smaller shells and explodes even more. So I obviously had to level it up once I figured that out, and I love it so much now. It's a great gun. Would recommend it for anyone who has it. Helmet. Achilleophage Symbiote. This is without a doubt, not counting the new exotic helmets, because I haven't seen anything about those, just the old exotic helmets, but this is without a doubt the best hunter exotic helmet you could have, in my opinion. The reason for that is, Golden Gun gains one additional shot per use. One more Golden Gun shot is game changing. It can help you out in so many situations. Um, I definitely recommend getting your hands on this helmet. I bought it from Zur. I believe the week of the dark below when that came out. So I would definitely pick that up if you get the chance. Zerb might be selling it this week. I would definitely pick it up. Uh, but yeah. Dogged, K, Dogged Gage, I'm sorry. Um, the raid gauntlets from the new raid, Crota's End. First thing I gotta say, Crota's End is fun as shit. I love it. It's so much fun to do. Uh, it's a very short raid, but it takes a lot of uh, communication between your teammates and a lot of strategy involved, and a lot of cooperation. It's pretty much all verbal. If you are not talking to your teammates, you will not get anything done right. So, Dogged, K Dogged Gage, I always call them Cage, are the raid gauntlets. Uh, they're pretty cool. I mean, they could have more design to it, but I like them. If you actually notice, uh, over here is the thing I like about them the most. It comes out with like a Nice little jagged edge on it. Uh, kind of like the Claws of Ahamkara's Spine. Claws of Ahamkara's Spine. That's fucking stupid of me. Young Ahamkara's Spine. 
which I am actually really upset that I can't use anymore. Excuse me. Um, but you know, I might maybe one one day get them upgraded. Uh, but I probably won't because of something. I'll tell you why. If you heard them in the background, I'm sorry, but you probably didn't. So, uh, anyway, relentless harness. I actually got today from Quarters End. This is the raid chest piece. Um, just got it. I can't really say anything about it. I haven't upgraded it much. Um, so, I mean, you know, it looks cool and everything. I love how it has, like, the blood splattered on here and everything. If that's supposed to be blood, I don't know. Uh, it's got cool little sharp teeth, I'm guessing they are. It looks like shark teeth. But, uh, yeah, once I upgrade this more, I'll let you know about it. Uh, Relent Tireless Striders are the raid boots. And, yes, I have all raid armor I need to get to level 32. I just need the new Radiant Shards, and I can hit level 32. Instantly, I'll be done. Um, so I technically have no reason to ever go back to the raid, except for getting a, uh, Radiant Shards and uh, new raid weapons. Because I'm trying to get trying to get that Black Hammer Sniper, dude. I mean, it's great. Alright, so um, pretty much, I mean, I don't really know what to say. Um, gives you a temporary agility while carrying the sword, which is good, because actually... Um, when it comes to Crota, every time I play Crota, I'm the one who carries the sword, and I do damage to Crota. Um, so that's good to have it. Everything. The Shroud of Flies is the gaunt, is the, uh, not the gauntlet, the Crota, uh, cloak. Sorry, I couldn't think of the word. It's really cool. Really, really cool. In fact, I'll actually switch my shader real quick, just so you can see it. Um, let's do this one. If you look, it has a cool fly pattern on it and everything. It looks so, so sick, and I love it, and I'm really, really happy with it. Um, it was actually one of the, it was actually the first thing I got from the raid, um, because in the raid, in the very first room, there's an exotic chest where you can get exotic armor, and um, that's what I got from it, and I was happy. So, I, and I have actually gotten a uh, exotic from there. I believe I've gotten a Plan C. I want to say. Yeah, a plant C. I got a plant C from there before. It's on my warlock currently. Uh, maybe I'll do a little review about my warlock eventually, but I'm not 100 percent sure. Um, this a new ship uh, came with the dark below. Got this from a strike mission because they're more generous in strike missions now, and you can get ships, uh, legendary armor, more better guns, and everything. And I'm just happy with it. Uh, this the blade of Crota emblem. It looks so so sick. I mean, come on. You guys probably don't know this, but purple is my favorite color. So, the fact that it's a the sword of Crota, engulfed in, like, a blue kind of shadow thing, with purple in the background, it looks so sick, and I love it. Um, then this is also another emblem from the Dark Below. This is the other emblem from the Dark Below, and this is the one you get for beating Crota. Um, I got this within the first week of the Dark Below, and... Uh, I was wearing it all until I got this emblem, the Blade of Crota, which for some reason is a rare. These should be legendary. That's all I gotta say. I mean, anyway, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm gonna do this a lot more. In fact, something I also did want to say is I actually was just recently streaming before I recorded this video. And I want to say I'm gonna be streaming a lot more. That's my New Year's resolution. I want to stream a lot, lot more uh, because I have fun streaming. It's just nice, kind of relaxed. It's a nice relaxing time for me, um, just playing video games and hanging out with people. Um, so I'm going to be streaming a lot more over this next year, hopefully, if, you know, things don't get in the way. And that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, so hope you enjoyed the video, and most of all, Happy New Year. I hope you had a great 2014. Like I said before, I hope your 2015 is even better. 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 I can't pronounce things good. So hopefully your 2015 is better and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out.